I'm not the type to sit in crack in a psychiatrist's chair You don't know me You don't know Baby, you don't know I'm not the one to take your charity Cause life isn't fair You don't Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Dolly Roman And before we get into what this video is about Can we just talk about how popping this glitter eye is? So if you guys miss it, I went live on Facebook Live doing this glitter eye This is my first time ever putting actual glitter on my eyes so yeah, if you guys follow my personal Facebook page, then you should be able to see it. Um, yeah, I actually posted it. So anywho, today's video is all about this long luscious hair of mine. So yes, this is a two month hair review. I can't even believe I've had this hair in for two months. And if the hair completely looks different now, it's like I actually got it reinstalled last Monday. I could not take my hair being out. Like, my hair has a mind of its own, so it was time to put it all away. So I got my closure put in for good. And I'm going to be rocking this hair for about another month or a month and a half. So yeah, I freaking love this hair, okay? I don't, like, they're not paying me to tell you guys this or anything like that. Like, I literally love this hair. So I have in, once again, Peruvian Loose Wave. And I have a 20-inch closure, a 22-inch bundle, 24, 26, 28. Yes, I had that much hair in my head. So as I got my closure reinstalled, I used three and a half bundles, which made the hair way thicker than what it was. And this hair it was naturally thick, even with the little bit of bundles I had the first time. So I just love how thick this hair is. I'm actually just proving it's my favorite texture anyway, so I don't mind it anyway. And I just like really, really love this hair. This hair has been worn in multiple styles. I've curled it twice. I've crimped it. I've straightened it. Like, I've done a lot with it. So, yeah. Um, being that my hair was in the flip over method before, I kind of damaged my closure a little bit. But my stylist, she hooked it up and she fixed it. And there's nothing wrong with it now. So, I just kind of have it parted down the middle. Just um, a little bit of hair left around in my edges and just a little bit here just to make it look natural because I don't like when closures are all the way pull up to the front to make it like a wig so I couldn't do it to myself I just couldn't do it so yeah and I had used for the first time I used the got to be glued ultra gel and that's how I glued the top of my closure down so yeah I've been wearing my hair straight for about a week now and you guys know I have a love hate relationship with straight hair I love how it looks but I hate rocking it for so long so I will be curling my hair tomorrow and putting it in rollers and I'll be wearing that big flexi wide um, heatless type of thing for the next week until I wash my hair so yeah I'm really in love with this hair um, the only tangling issues I've been having with it is it tangles now that it's been straightened for a week at the nape of my neck which is typical um, it does shed um, I wouldn't buy hair that doesn't shed because if it comes from my human's head then obviously it sheds that's a myth so yeah I really love this hair I custom colored it myself like I said in the last video um, I actually went over the color this time and I used a new product I used the Adore of course I used the Adore electric line to obtain the color but I used the Clairol Flare Me Pastelizer and that's what made it so vibrant like this and I freaking love it and before I got installed like my other bundles were like a yellowish green so I had to go over it so yeah um, I actually got those Flare Me products from Influencer they sent me over a whole box of all that stuff it had value it had um, 40 volumes of I mean developer in there it had the pastelizer it had a little a BW2 and it had its own color and everything and it came with shampoo conditioner keratin a thing and a um a locking thing to lock the color in which i will use when i wash my hair again so i'm pretty excited about that but so far so good i love this hair i've been rocking it for two months it's having given me no problems i freaking love this hair like i literally love this hair i'm not gassing this thing they're not paying me like i literally live for this hair like this hair is so bomb so let me just stand up and show you guys where the hair is like on me i'm five six by the way and the hair stops here like at the uh, little bit of my butt so yeah i'm freaking loving this hair i love it straight but it's gotta go bye bye after today so yeah i'm really in love with this hair like 
Oh my god, I just love it. I can't stop touching it because that's how much I love it. But the only thing I have been hating about rocking this hair is because the weather in New Jersey is so stupid. So like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, my hair is straight, but it's getting wavy in some places because of the humidity. It's like having an effect on it, and it's really getting on my nerves. So that's another reason why I just want to curl it and be done with it and not bother with it. So yeah, I've worn this hair also in its next natural texture, and it's beautiful. Um, I wore it. I put some. Curl Enhancer Smoothie, Coconut Hibiscus from Shea Moisture and diffused it with my blow dryer and it was bomb. So yeah, this hair could be worn multiple ways. It takes color obviously very well um, and I love it. I definitely recommend it. I will leave the link for it down below. And if you guys want to know like any products or anything I recommend to maintain this hair, and leave a comment down below and I'll let you know. But as always, comment and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And get you some Aldi Pearl hair, girl. Bye. You don't know me. You may think you know about us, but you don't. So if you gon' speak, talk nice. Think I won't leave. Think twice. But if you wanna come true.